Hi guys, so today I am going to review one of the AI detector tools. So as you know, I use a lot of AI tools to write content for my website and I am in search of a lot of tools around which tool can work best in humanizing the content. As you know, Google penalizes the content written through AI. Now most of the people write through AI, but there are techniques and there are tools present in the market which can help humanize the content. So I have previously used SEO writing tool which has a humanized feature. However, I just came to know about another tool AI detector.pro as you can see. And this is a kind of a review video as AI detector pro team connected with me and they said that this tool can help you in humanizing the content better. So I thought, okay, let's do a review around it. So it will be an honest review on what the plans are and I will see how it works. So let's go. So first of all, that's the, this is their homepage. They have designed, they have a, you can start it for free where you don't need a credit card, which is quite good as people do, as people don't want to put their uh, card numbers into the uh, website initially if they have to try it for free. And it has uh, Harsh Agrawal as from Shout Me Loud giving his view as well. Along with that, it gives all the details on how this tool works and etc, etc. If I go with the pricing plans, uh, prices are... Uh, from a free perspective, you will get three AI scans. So I, I have a unlimited plan, but uh, from a free perspective, you can do three AI scans. You won't be able to humanize the content. However, in the basic plan, you can do the humanization and 103 AI scans as well. And then in the free plan, you won't be able to roll over. So free is mainly to test it out, uh, I would say. Uh, they don't give much of the credits from a free plan perspective. Basic plan is something you will get a discount as well with a 50% code as they have given me here. You can use my link as well where you will also get a discount of 50%. Anyways, you can try both ways and you will get a lot of features around the basic plan. It's only $13 for 103 scans and unlimited humanization, which is quite good. But first review the tool whether it works perfectly fine or not and then we can go with the options of the and then we can go in much details around these options so i have logged into the dashboard and i have an unlimited plan as you can see and i have tried to test it with few of the content but it's mainly if you are using chat gbt as a free tool and uh, you want to make sure your content is not ai 100 percent that is where this tool promises it can detect now i will do some of the complex prompts with chat gbt as i do write humanized content through chat gbt itself and i will see how this tool works so first let's start with some of the basic prompts that normally people give around uh, so first let's start with some of the basic prompts and some bits which normally people will use so i will say write a 500 word article on seo tips for beginners and make sure to humanize the content so i've given to chat gbt itself that you write an article and humanize it okay now we will test this article which is a very basic prompt to chat gbt where i haven't told how to humanize it that is what ai is for but i'll see whether chat gbt understands my prompt or not in a basic sense article looks pretty good i will just copy it and in the dashboard you have a new ai scan i will just paste it and i will say it is in english and uh, pretty much it has said that it is 98 percent of ai written which is fine that's great now what i'll do is i'll say to chat gbt for this article itself the same prompt i will change it a bit now okay so i have changed the prompt i have just said that don't use common ai words and use long and short sentences so i just wanted to test this tool thoroughly so that uh, I can recommend it based on my thorough testing as these are the very simple prompts chat GBT does give a lot of content and does try to help in content creators in writing the articles so let's see whether this will figure it out so percentage wise same article I will use the same strategy just change the way chat GBT treats humanize so i have added that humanized content needs by humanizing what i mean to say it so 
I'm expecting the score to be less, but so it has again given the 98% as a score and it is 98% AI written, which means this tool is giving the AI content pretty well. Now, what I'll do is I'll go to my website and I know I write some content which are human, which I have written. So this is the one how to start a blog. That is what I have written. And what I'll do is I'll just copy and paste some of the paragraphs to test it to see whether it genuinely gives AI content or humanized content. So it gives a kind of a PDF as I've copied it with a non-text source so there are quite a bit of a character which it says okay these are non-text sources so they won't be denoted correctly but that's fine i'm fine with that it will just remove the spaces enters and all those characters uh, surprisingly now this is human so it has given it as a human which is 28 percent human so it is something which i have written so what this article was this article was in a different language i've converted it using chat gpt and uh, it was a humanly written article in a different language i converted it through chat gpt so it has detected it is mostly human what bit it thinks is ai is nothing so this is the detailed report around it and you can understand okay how that uh, analysis works so they have a tune analysis then how the plot works what all checks it does so pretty much decent results till now and uh, let's see what the ai content if you click on how it says so it gives whichever whatever words it has found which are ai written which is very interesting as a because i i don't understand ai that much but it is good that uh, the deep and never heard and like impressing search engine these are the amber signals so it gives each paragraph this is ai this is ai this is ai then it has said clearly that this this paragraph it doesn't understand and it has put it as a suspicious one and then rest is like ai now the beauty of this tool i think is like you can use the ai eraser with which says that it can humanize the content okay so let's test that out as well so the red bits are the one which are ai written so I say if i select so say i select everything i'm not sure if it will be able to humanize it i'll click on humanize document now the message is like it will take 10 minutes to do it which is quite a lot of a time it seems uh, there will be a lot of processing behind it but let's see how much time it actually takes so in the screen it is 007 if it takes 10 minutes i will just skip that 10 minute and we will see this time so it just gave the message still processing still it is 0007 okay so time is 0009 and it didn't take 10 minutes so it just took two minutes and then it says basically it is giving a message saying that okay once you have humanized it if you try to rehumanize it it might not give a better result now this is what the article is so what i will do as a test i will just copy this article okay i'm doing a kind of a strange testing for this i'll say to chat gbt can you confirm if the below article is written by human okay i'll put the chat gbt article as well in the same format now let's see is written by human but there may be some signs generated by ai so now chat gbt is giving the same message okay overuse of synonyms inconsistent tone strange phrasing repetition now these are the signs of a humanly written content rather than an ai but chat gpt says it could be ai so what i can do is i will again go to the same tool okay and i will again go to the home page i will again do a new scan i will put the same content which this tool has written to see how much score it is giving for this article so it is giving a two score so it has some methodology which is where it is able to understand which is a human written which is ai written so it has some of the backend processing which is making it more human which gives this kind of data so i wanted to understand how it could be an humanly written article okay now the next test with chat gbt so this is my final test after that i will stop my testing now i will say okay now 
write a 500 on seo i will say on page seo tips and it should be written in a similar tone which i shared in my last prompt that is overuse of so what i did i just copied the above prompt i said that now you need to write it in similar tone which is shared in my last form that is overuse of synonym inconsistent tone strange phrasing and repetition so now i have written what chat gpt has given me a feedback for the previous article which is humanly written i will say that okay write it in a similar tone and let's see what chat gpt gives to me and then i will test this article again with the ai detector pro tool so chat gpt has written a article i have just copied it i have pasted it and i will analyze it now let us see what is the score so it is giving still a 98 percent score so whatever prompt strategies i have tried with chat gpt smaller prompts so these are the basic prompts i have not tried the in-depth prompt where i have given a full case study sort of a thing etc to test it but this tool is doing quite decent in detecting the content and it is detecting the humanly written content as well quite properly i have used one of the content for my website i've used another content on the black friday which is also humanly written which gave a score of three so tried two three things and uh, it looks good to me so i i think it is a good tool and uh, mainly this tool will be beneficial for freelancers who are in fiverr or upwork and are doing content writing they can use this tool in parallel with chat gbt or any other ai tools to write content make sure it is humanly and it is not a ai related content at the end pricing wise it looks decent 103 ai scans if you hire a content writer if you are a self planner sort of a person then you can go with this basic plan if you are having a big organization then you go with the unlimited plan as it is 25 dollars and you get a lot of languages as well so english spanish portuguese arabic and german then you can uh, do exports as well there are some apis as well a lot of features they are adding to it and just for awareness this tool is created by students within the mit so they would have done a lot of testing around it and you can visit this website to get more info. I have put a link in my description as well. You can use that link as uh, it's a... Uh, it will help me getting some affiliate commission but yeah this review is a genuine review and uh, they have provided me the access to give a review based on my previous videos that i post in my channel so do check out the other videos as well as i how i use other ai tools to uh, boost the traffic of my website i hope this review is useful to you all and if you like the video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and do Put a comment in case you have any queries. Thank you. Bye.